Hey guys, gals, and Legionnaires, Rykon here, and welcome back to Miscreated. And, well, last episode, you may have noticed, we had a crash, and an unfortunate crash it was. We were right by the boat, and if I'm being honest, I have no freaking idea where we are right now. I have just logged back in to find this built around us now i feel like this is a base that we've been in earlier but unfortunately there isn't a way out the only thing i've been able to see that i can do is open and close this door and that doesn't help us a hell of a lot at all yeah pretty much that's the extent of it so far now there is another door up here which I can knock on, and that doesn't seem to go anywhere, but we do not want to be running through those, we know how bad they are, and the rest of them, we just seem to be able to knock on as well. Now the sun looks like it's setting, I think it's setting, I don't think it's rising, but from what I can tell so far, there ain't no way out of this place, which is really annoying. Now, the way for us to get out is, hopefully, to find a weak point and I'm just gonna have to stand here for about half an hour <laughs> and chop through now this wall here I have been doing a little bit of chopping and I've been able to get something done on it but uh, yeah we uh, we don't really seem to have a lot of options here at all knock is the only option that we're getting on the rest of these doors which um, which is really unfortunate uh, I'm definitely definitely dark about that but um, this seems to be some kind of gate system that they've got worked up but um, I'm gonna get chopping, and I'll see you all soon. Hey man. Hey, I'll let you out, don't kill me. Oh, hey, hey, hey. <laughs> it's good to hear a friendly voice. Is this your place? Yes. Hey, hey, um, okay. I, uh... What are you doing in my base? So, son. interesting story, interesting story. I was on the server probably about three days ago, and I logged off on this point, um, and I literally just logged back on in here, and I've been trying to get out. I, I swear. Oh, yeah? Yeah, oh, yeah? yeah, yeah. So, um, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty glad that you came by, because otherwise I would have been stuck trying to get out of here for a long time. I really didn't want to damage your walls, but uh, I tried to call for help. Uh, but I didn't think anyone would be close by. No, you're right, mate. Um, your stories doesn't make sense because it just doesn't make sense. Like how? Yeah. Like my base is here. Like I don't understand. <laughs> how long have you had the space here for? A long time, dude. <laughs> Weird. Yeah, because... Um, As you can see, it's quite well established. <laughs> yeah, it, it is. Yeah, so I logged off... Um, well, it wasn't so much a log off as the server crashed, I think. And um, I don't know whether or not it disconnected oh, yeah. me at a weird point, and I just kind of rubber banded back here, but uh, yeah. Yeah, it's it's very plausible that you um, logged out here. Because um, sometimes the server does glitch and the bases disappear. So it's, it's quite plausible that happened. Yeah, well, I hope that... But, um... <laughs> I hope that we can leave on good terms. Yeah, that's alright, man. Um, I don't mind. Even if you did break in, I, I don't mind. Um, that That's very kind of you. I think you probably did. <laughs> I don't have much in here. I don't keep much in my base anyway, so... It's, it, it's damn impressive, though. Just, just for... Thanks, mate. Um, it's been a labour of many, many weeks and months. <laughs> wow. I, no, I'm, I'm seriously impressed with it. Seriously. Do you want to... Do you want to... I'll show you upstairs. Come upstairs. Yeah, sure. Okay. Oh, wow. Not bad. It's, it's quite good for shooting people out of up here. Do you get many people trying to raid? Oh yeah, all, all the fucking time. I get raided all the fucking time. It's uh, it's quite annoying, but right. You know, it's just it's part of the game. You uh, you kind of deal with it. Um, what you can do, really, you just gotta hold the punches, I guess. Yeah, yeah. No, I got you. What's your what's your name, by the way? 
I'm, I'm Twitch, man. Twitch, you're Twitch. Ah, oh, great. <laughs> yeah, I did see you in the chat before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, great. Well, thanks, Twitch. I really it's funny, appreciate it's it. It's funny that it's... It's funny that it's um, my base. You're locked in. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, I really appreciate uh, I you. I wonder if that's our, our base that he's stuck in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, uh, thanks, thanks for letting me go. Right, I'm going to head back out into the woods. Um, I wish you all the best. Yeah, good luck, man. Let's wave our friend goodbye. <laughs> That's not what I wanted to do. <laughs> I hope you didn't see that. <laughs> well, guys and gals, we certainly got lucky there. Um, Twitch, well, he didn't have to do that. And I'm pretty glad he did. <laughs> well... <laughs> Our first encounter with a base went a hell of a lot better than I thought it was going to. Now, the sun is actually setting. This will be our first night in Miscreated. And I'm a little concerned. We are going to be out here by ourselves. But it's nice to know that we do have a friendly, neighborly sort nearby. Now, when we did crash, we were close to that boat. My question is, is the boat still there? And are we even in the same place? It doesn't look like the boat is there. Which is unfortunate. I was looking forward to taking that thing out. Now that is, if I'm not mistaken, where we came from. Now the boat was down there. So I think if we carry along this way, we should make it to the airfield. And, well, the idea of going to the airfield at night isn't super promising. <laughs> I don't like the idea of it, but I think we might just have to. So, buckle your seatbelts. We're going in. Alrighty, we are getting closer. And that is the sight that we beheld last time. Before we got rudely kicked off the server. <laughs> the airfield. And we're going to be exploring it at night. Which, with knowing there's other people in the area might actually be a good thing for us if we can avoid the mutants and stay hidden from any other players we might stand a chance of getting some good loot but you know what we're gonna have to have something to eat first so let's just come and take a little bit of a sit down oh we cannot sit while holding a weapon okay so that's unfortunate but that's okay let's jump in get something to drink Unfortunately, we don't have any food, so that's something that I'm going to keep my eyes out for while we're heading in there. Alright, let's get moving. Alright, we're getting closer, and we're getting hungrier, but it looks like there's another base along the way, and I'm going to want to try and stay clear of that. I'm going to keep my eyes out, see if I can see anyone coming in and out. Okay, we're closer to the airfield now. And it looks like there's another base. We've got two in a very close proximity to each other. Doesn't look like there's anyone home right now. And, well, I'm not going to test it. But it looks like the way to the airfield might be guarded. We're really going to have to watch ourselves. They've actually blocked the road off. So if there's any vehicles or anything nearby... There's no chance they'll be able to get in. And this all means that there's a high chance that there could be someone in there right now. And they're probably going to be pretty protective of all the loot that we might just find. I'm only just now really regretting the fact that we're wearing a bright purple top. It's pretty freaking visible. Especially running between these two places. I'm going to want to try and get to cover as soon as possible. So that we're hidden from mutants and people. We don't want either right now. Let's quickly run across there. Damn, those footsteps are noisy. It's got me worried. Let's keep moving. Okay, okay, okay. We're closer now, but... That is a tractor. Now, there's a damn good chance that that is not working. But it's something for us to keep in mind. 
We are starting to lose that sunlight. Ever so more. Bit by bit. But we might be able to come back for that. Once the sun's set. It's hard to see from here, but I think it also might be missing tires. Which ain't good for us. And that's maybe somewhere that we might actually be able to stay the night. Depending how things go down in the airfield. Alright. Let's get nice and low. And just scout the place out. Looks like there's a mutant down there. Just by the tent. I'm not seeing any people moving yet. There's a helicopter downed over there. We've got a lot of burnt out vehicles. Okay. But right now, I'm not seeing anyone running between buildings. So, I think we might be safe to move. Well, that was a freaky ass effect. I'm feeling pretty spooked right now. Airfields and survival games always mean bad things. And with that guy down there, well, we're gonna have to keep our wits about us. Let's go get closer. Okay, there's three of them. Shit. And he is glitching a little bit along that fence. So we've got a bit, looks like a two fence system at the moment. Shit. And we can hear them now. Okay. Now, I don't know how good this sight is. But I think we're going to find out. Looks like we've got some stars starting to rise. Oh, and we've got a lot of dead bodies. I'm guessing people tried to make it into the airfield. And failed. Miserably. He's down here in the bushes now. There he is. Yeah, I don't want to be fighting him. Not while we're hungry. I think our best course of action might be trying to go through the fence somewhere along there, but... Saying that... It looks like the fence is pretty well... Secured the whole way along. But we don't really have an option... To go through there. Not with them guarding it. We are... Well... We're running out of options, really. I think we're going to try and go around first. Play it safe. We don't have any firearms to protect ourselves. I'm going to keep the torch out for now. Actually, you know what? I'm going to keep that axe out instead. We need to be ready. If we need to defend ourselves, we... We just need to jump straight to it. And, uh... As I'm still learning the ropes of this game, I don't know how strong they're going to be. And if I can avoid fighting them, I will for now. Let's go try the other side. Okay, I'm hearing noises and it's freaking me out. That sounds like a motherfucking bear. Let's get the axe ready. God damn, there's quite a few of them. There's another one off in the distance. Oh shit, that sounds close. Okay, we're gonna go back out into the light. Oh, I don't like that sound. Okay. Oh, oh shit. Okay, I think it's found us. Okay, that's not good. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Okay, time to run, time to run. I don't know if we can outrun this thing or not, but we're going to try. We need to try and get to that fence line. That's going to be our only shot. And it sounds like there's more of them coming. Okay. I'm freaking out. I'm freaking out. Okay. All right. We need to dart in. Dart around. Hope that we can lose them along the fence line. Okay. He's still chasing us. Oh, shit. There's another one. Okay. We're going up, guys and gals. We're going up. Oh, shit. He's coming. He's coming. He's coming. Okay. We're standing ready. He's coming. Come on. Oh, damn it. Okay, we got him. We got him. We got him, we got him, we got him. Okay, we need to get down. We're not bleeding. Holy shit. Okay. 
Now, some of you might have noticed that he stabbed us. That is one of the stronger mutated creatures. He essentially has a blade for an arm. So we're going to head down there. We're going to search him. I'm going to grab those bolts. But uh, we need to be careful using the torch here as well because it's going to attract anyone that's nearby. But I think he was the only one that was chasing us. And we're actually healing at the moment, which is good. Holy shit. Okay. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. There's another mutant here. I can't see him, but he's close. Oh, shit. Okay. <laughs> See if we can make it down to his corpse. Okay, that corpse is gone. I don't know where it dropped. It might have fallen off the edge. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. No, 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 no. Come on. Oh crap, oh crap. Run, run, run. Oh damn it, not now. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay. Okay, stand ready. Fight him! Come on, damn it! <sighs> Not today, you son of a bitch. Okay. That went a hell of a lot messier than I was hoping it would. That is one ugly ass motherfucking mutant. <laughs> Let's search him. Nothing. Rotten corpse. Okay, now we are injured, so we're going to use one of these. That's going to heal us a little bit faster. Note to self, when in combat, don't panic and accidentally grab your torch. It's the last thing that you want to be doing. Okay. We got another one. We might have to try and take care of him. Surely he's going to be easier than the others. And hopefully those two were the only ones that actually saw me come up here. That's a big hopefully. You know what? I don't want to be walking around with him. Potentially able to jump us at any time. So we're going to try and jump him instead. The hunter is going to become the hunted. Come on. Come on, show me what you got. Let's do this. Come on. Damn it. Come on. There we go. That's how we do. Please tell me you got something for me. Nothing. Okay. And there's another one. Okay, we need to get moving. That's the one from before. Nothing. Okay, let's move. Apologize if the uh, beach is quite noisy. It's turning up that way for me. Okay, that is not our torch. That is our torch. Okay, now we need to find food. We need to find something and just get the hell out. Rugged pack, and I'm pretty sure that's what we're rocking right now. Yeah, it is. But we will try and see if there's anything in there. Just a map. Not what we need. Okay. Let's turn our light off and just try and see where that other one's gone. Where he's getting to. Okay, he's heading down that way. We'll let him keep on going that way. Ooh, I thought he saw us then. Okay. It's a little more quieter, so we can hear things a little better now. The further we get away from the ocean. Sweet relief for the ears. Okay, that's good. Let's consume those peas. 
Okay, let's just crouch down. Just hide back here for a moment. See where he's going. We're gonna have to move eventually, we can't stay here. It's too dangerous to wait. We are on 57 health though. 58, we're getting it back. Slowly though. Oh shit. Is that his shadow? No. But he's definitely getting closer. He sounds pretty close to me. <laughs> okay, let's get that axe ready. Sounds like he's moving around the back of here. We still haven't searched that front one. Don't think he can see the torch through the wall. At least I hope not. I really hope not. Okay, that looks like a knife. Survival knife, okay. That could come in handy. Right, let's see if we can actually grab it. Okay. I don't know if the knife is going to be any better than the hatchet as a weapon, but we'll take it with us. Looks like we've got some rope. And it's going to be useful when it comes to crafting, no doubt. And, oh, hello. We actually got some rounds. And a 9mm handgun. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Let's have a look. 9mm rounds. We have got a freaking pistol, my friends. Now, unfortunately, we are only able to carry two primaries at any one time. We're going to need that torch. Okay. Let's have a look. Let's at least get it loaded. I think it's loaded now. Okay. Not a bad looking gun. We have one at least. So I think for now, we're going to try and do our best to avoid any combat. This is going to be a prime. Well, yeah. A secondary as well. Unfortunately. Damn. Okay, I think what we're going to be doing is just doing a little bit of swapping between the two. I want to keep that pistol handy though, just in case we run into anyone. I'm really glad we came into this, uh... <laughs> this bunker here. Alright. Let's get a move on. It's going to start getting darker. Looks like we've got a few tents. Kind of in favor of checking these out first, though. We'll take those rounds, gladly. Motor oil. We'll carry it just because we have the space. Last one. Looks like we've got some diesel down the back. We can carry that with us. Although, I'm a little worried about weight. Let's have a look and see how we're doing. Yeah, we're getting close to a weight limit, but we we'll still carry a little bit more with us. Okay, we're gonna have a look through all of these to see what we've got. Imagining they tried to keep some people here. Perhaps families of the uh, military personnel on the base. Give them a better chance at survival. But I don't think they feared any better. Okay. It's getting darker, guys and gals. It's getting darker. And I am getting more and more on edge. I have to admit, if I did have that pistol out, I would have a pretty itchy trigger finger right about now. You just don't really trust people in areas like this. And all it will take is for one person to see my torchlight. Okay. Just another hatchet. I'm always tempted to take it and hide it. <laughs> I know that's a terrible thing to do, but... Um, hey, you got to do what you need to do to survive. If it's keeping other stuff away from people, well, that's what you got to do. Yeah, so uh, Twitch that we ran into earlier, he was pretty damn well equipped. 
Another hatchet, jeez. Two hatchets, holy crap, okay. <laughs> yeah, it appears you can have uh, two primaries at any one time and two secondaries, so it's a lot of firepower one person can have. Looks like we've actually got a canteen, a metal military canteen. Is that going to be better than what we've got? Let's definitely eat that soup. Yes. Okay, let's take the canteen. Turn the torch off and just have a look. Um, okay. So they do actually have... Items do have durability. But I guess it takes them a little while for them to uh, break. This weighs a little bit more than the canteen that we have up there. But I think we're going to hold on to both for now. Just because we can. Damn, we're still quite hungry. We're going to have to do something about that. These tents are a good start for us, though. It's going to have a chance to uh, get some food in our bellies before we head in. We can always stockpile on some more drinks as well. What is that? Camo knitting. I'm guessing that's a uh, crafting resource. Can it is there anything else about it? We can't use it straight up, so I think it is a crafting resource. Question is now, do I want to hold on to these? I don't think I want to hold on to those bolts. We want the map stool. We'll hold on to the nails just for now. But, um, I don't know about the netting and the rest. We'll hold on to these for now, because, uh, just because we can. No need to throw them away just yet. Looks like we've got three more tents to clear out here. Then we're going to head further in. Okay, we've got a drink. That's a good start. But, oh, no, it isn't. We've got ravioli as well. Let's have something to eat, eh? Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. 72. That's better. Okay. One more tent. Our last one, and it appears to be empty. Oh, well. You win some, you lose some. Okay, the question is, where are we going to go to next? We've got a tower up there that we might be able to check out. If we climb up these rocks, we do also have a car park as well. I don't know where there's going to be anything in those cars. I'll pay to check though. You know what, we're just going to check this tent one last time. Because I want to be sure that I've been in it. No, we have not been in this one. It doesn't appear to be very helpful other than an HK 45 okay okay let's take it ah it's gonna exceed our weight limit okay I guess guns are a little heavy so it's gonna shoot 45 rounds I'm guessing let's chuck away the netting and see if we can grab it we can we can yeah so it fires 45 ACP rounds okay well I think it'll be worth us holding on to We've still got those static rounds, and we actually have some ACP rounds as well. Well, one. It's a seven round magazine. Ah, uh, but it's for... Yeah, the M 1911 But surely we'd still be able to use those 45 rounds here. I guess they're not ACP rounds. Yeah. We might not, but it might be worth this testing. But I think eight rounds for that is pretty decent. I'm happy with that. We have more exploration to do. It's going to start with us getting up to there and you know, getting a bit of a look on the area. Sprinting in this game always makes me nervous because I, I don't know the ranges. I don't know how far that sound travels. It sounds pretty damn noisy to me. Okay. That's where there's a downed plane. And a helicopter. And a oh, decent amount of hangars. We're going to head up here first. Looks like we can actually get in that way. It looks relatively clear. It might be worth checking that out before we check down this little military village. Let's see what we've got up here first. We've got the moon on our side. We're going to make the most of it. Okay, nothing there. 
And nothing here either. Oh, it's not looking good, guys and gals. Nothing for us up here. But it doesn't mean there won't be anything down below. But we are going to find that out next time. Thank you all for joining me again. I'm really enjoying this game. And, well, we've managed to survive so far in some pretty dire circumstances. Getting trapped inside a base, being assaulted by three mutants, and there's more of them down there. I hope you'll join me in the next episode. I've been Rykon. You have all been awesome. And until next time, stay tuned.